Welcome to another point the camera at the floor video. Today I'm going to show you how to randomize a 3DS Pokemon game and play it on actual hardware. So here I have Pokemon X. So I've already randomized this. I'm kind of playing a Nuzlocke just for fun. And I'll show you by just going to a route. All right, so let's just hop in the grass here. And a Sfeel. And that's generally not in this route. But yeah, we're going to be doing that on actual hardware. Obviously, you know, a lot of people do this on emulator, but to do it on actual hardware is pretty cool. So obviously, I've already randomized this game. However, I... Okay, just another spiel. Um, however, I'm going to randomize my um, Pokemon Omega Ruby copy. This works for any Pokemon 3DS game. And this does assume a few things. One, you do have to have a hacked 3DS with um, God Mode 9 installed. So I'm going to assume you've already done that. If not, I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. So some prep work before we start. Let's first make sure, let's first make sure God Mode 9 is installed. It is. And then we're also gonna make sure we have some settings set for Luma, for Luma 3DS. So God Mode 9, hold down start, press the power button like I just did. And then for Luma 3DS settings, we're going to hold down select. Make sure that enable game patching is enabled so that we can actually patch mods into our game. And that is all you'll need there. And then hit save and exit. Don't just power off. Anyway, once that's done, we need to actually dump our game. So we're going to hold down start and boot into God Mode 9. Uh, let's not set our date and time. So there's a few things we can do. Uh, if we have a game cart, which I don't, but let's pretend I do for this example. If we have a game cart, we're going to go to Scripts, Gobbo 9 Mega Script. I'll actually hold it a bit closer so you can see it. And go to Miscellaneous, Cartridge Options, and we will dump cart to CIA. Once that's done, it's going to dump it to uh, SD card, Gobbo 9 out. And obviously make sure you have enough storage space. This will take a while, so you'll probably want to plug in your 3DS while that goes. If you have an installed game like I do, we're going to go to Title Manager, search our SD card, and it'll search our SD card for all of our games. And then we're going to find Pokemon Omega Ruby. There it is, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Manage Title, and then Build CIA Standard. Either way, oh, I don't actually want to dump it because I've already dumped it. But uh, it will go to the same place, uh, SD card, GM9, and then out. All right, so once you have your game dumped, I've already dumped it. We're going to head over to a Windows computer that can read SD cards. So power off, and let's head over to a computer. All right, over here on the computer, I have my 3DS SD card in here. And yours probably won't look as full as mine, but um, I've done quite a bit of stuff to my 3DS. Anyway, we're going to go to the God Mode 9 out folder, and here you will have your Pokemon Omega Ruby.cia file. I went ahead and already transferred it, and the first thing we need to do is decrypt it because right now it is an encrypted CIA file. So we're going to move it to this folder that has this nice little decrypt tool. Now, it is a batch file, and one of the nice things that it does is it just decrypts any CIA file that you have in its folder. So we're going to open the batch file, and I'll have a link to download this in the description. It is very, very nice. All right, that took about two minutes, and we now have a CII file, which is a decrypted game that we can actually put in the randomizer. So once we have this, we're going to go into our Pokemon Randomizer ZX, and we're going to launch its bat file. It is important that you actually launch it from the bat file and not from the jar itself. Otherwise, it actually won't work with 3DS games. Also, yes, you'll need a JRE for this. Anyway, we're going to open our ROM. And load our CII file. Once that's loaded, we can randomize our Pokemon game. So let's just pick all of our randomized options. 
the kind of basic randomized options that most people do. Uh, randomized base stats, randomized abilities. I like to keep types, and most uh, Nuzlocke playthroughs do keep types. Random Pokemon evolutions, although you can randomize every level. Uh, force change. Uh, change impossible evolutions like trades if you want to, although I'm not going to. Doing this makes it less fun. Now we're going to completely randomize starter Pokemon, randomize held items, ban bad items, randomize static Pokemon, and randomize both given and requested Pokemon for in-game trades, and we can just do all this for fun. Now, I don't like to randomize move data itself, but randomizing move sets. No game-breaking moves is always nice, although you don't really have to. And you can also guarantee four moves at level one. Randomized trainer Pokemon. You can also add additional Pokemon for each trainer. Rival carry starter through the game is nice so it doesn't sequence break. And randomized trainer name and class names are fun. Wild Pokemon random. And you can randomize held items if you want each one to be held items. Randomized TMs. And this will not randomize HMs on the ground, by the way. Um, I'm not going to randomize HM compatibility, although you can if you want. And full HM compatibility will mean that every Pokemon can learn every HM. Move Tutor moves random. And move tutor compatibility, I'm going to leave unchanged. Field items, random. Special shops, I'm just going to leave unchanged. Also, yeah, ban bad items. And pick up items, random. Ban bad items. Miscellaneous tweaks, fastest text is always very nice. And that's pretty much it. Although, you can obviously do whatever you want here. Anyway, once we're ready, we can save. And it's going to ask us how we like to output it. If you output it as a CXI, you can only play in an emulator. So we're going to out output it as a layered FS file. So we can actually use it. And we can just save it wherever. We'll just save it as at the desktop for now. It's going to ask if we want to save a log file. We're going to click no. And there's my randomized seed if you want to copy it. Anyway, we're done here. Now we're going to go back into our 3DS SD card, and we're going to go into our Luma directory, and then titles. If you don't have any game mods yet, or if this is the first game mod you're installing, you won't have a titles folder. So just make a new folder, call it titles, and then in here's my Pokemon X randomizer, and we're just going to copy in our Pokemon Omega Ruby randomizer, and that's it. We can now eject our SD card and play our games. And then I'm just going to skip through the tutorial. And uh, this is the fastest text option. All right, let's see what our randomized starters are. Yeah, the Poochie and the Spray, it's not going to change, obviously. But what it ends up being will. So let's take a look. Oh shit. What a group we got. Unpheasant, Keldeo, and Sawsbuck. Let's pick you. And let's see what Poochiana ends up being. <laughs> it's an Among Us. Damn, I really did not want to end this video off with an Among Us reference, but yeah. There you go. That is how you randomize any 3DS Pokemon game. This to The tool I showed in this video will actually randomize any Pokemon game up to... Why did I just... Anyway, um, this uh, tool will randomize any Pokemon game, Game Boy, NDS, except um, for non-3DS games, it will just re-export the ROM file as a randomized ROM file. And you can just, uh, you know, using Twilight Loader or an emulator, load that on your 3DS if you want to. However, for 3DS Pokemon games, it is a bit different, so I wanted to show how to do that and play it on actual hardware. But yeah, you get the point. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and also my randomized move set I forgot to demonstrate, so uh, I'll show that. And yeah, I have four randomized moves that uh, Keldeo shouldn't know. Anyway. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.